Welcome back. Uh, today's very short lesson is about prepositions, but the three prepositions that have a rule. All the other prepositions you just have to memorize and learn the words, just like vocabulary. But these three prepositions, in, on, and at, actually have some rules. Basically, the rule is if it's a large place or time, you're going to say in. If it's a medium place or time, you're going to say on. And if it's the smallest place or time, you're going to say at. <clears throat> Let's look at some examples. In places, I'm going to say in the world. In the world. Well, that's a very large place. I can also say in North America. America. Okay, in North America. I can also say in Canada. And then I can say in Vancouver. And I can even say a part of Vancouver, like in Kitsilano, but let's not get too... <laughs> Too uh, complicated here. I want to keep this simple just to show you big, middle, and small. So in the world, in North America, in Canada, in Vancouver, those are pretty large places. On is used for on, uh, let's say, West 10th Avenue. West 10th Avenue, which is where I live. On West 10th Avenue. You could also say on the 13th Floor. So you have a building, whoops, F-L-O-O-R. You have a building that has many floors. You say, I live on the 13th floor. So on for these two things. And then at, when you have either an intersection, like at, at, um, let's say, Canby, Canby Street and West 10th Avenue. Avenue. Whoops, I'm going to run into that side. That's okay. So at for those, on for these, and also addresses at 925 uh, West 10th Avenue. 925 West 10th Avenue. So if you have an intersection, you say at, and you have an address, you say at. So the biggest ones are in, the middle ones are on, and the smallest ones are at. Over here, I'm going to erase that because I run out of space. When you have time, time, the biggest time is going to be the 20th century. So you say in the 21st century, that's the one we're in right now, in the 21st century, big, big time. And then you say in 26, what's the, this is uh, 2016, is this year, in 2016, and then you say in the summer. So any of the uh, times of year, you say, in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, in the, in, in the fall, in the winter, in July, any of the months are going to be in, in July, in August, in the morning. You can also say in the afternoon and in the evening. However, we do say at night, and at night is kind of an exception. So those are the ins, then the on, we're going to get even smaller now, on July 1st, on July 1st, and then on days of the week, on Saturday, D-A-Y, on Saturday, on Sunday, on Monday. So on is used for dates and it's used for days. And then the last one, at, is only used for time. So you say at 10.30 a.m., for example, at 10.30 a.m. and any other time. So basically, in is for the largest times, on is for the middle times, and at is for a very specific time or place. That's your lesson for today. Bye for now.